you know, sometimes it's it's okay to freak out, you know. It's um it's okay to just stare and hesitate for a good minute. Um <laughs> so huh what the how do we do here like what 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 is this so men men and max it's it's just i mean for starters right the max of, of three five it's i mean five because five is bigger and if it was men it would equal to three so that's that's all this is but function wise how how do we integrate this right so i mean if it, like if it was like a function it, it depends on certain intervals right it, it depends on certain intervals which function is higher uh etc so um of course this integral well i should say this function this function is is a piecewise function so, um, but at the same time, we have a limit here with n and n here. Uh, what do we do? So, let's first, we need to find out uh, the intersection between the function of 0 and 4 minus x over n. So, what I'm saying is when, when is 0 equal to 4 minus x over n? Right, so that when there's an intersection uh, between two functions, we will know, okay, here uh, f is the max, here g is the max. So that's, that's why we want the intersection. And the intersection is going to help us find certain bounds, certain bounds, uh, you know, certain bounds to split the integral. So... That's what I'm trying to do right now. So when is 0 equal to 4 minus x over n? Uh, if I solve for x, solving for x will give me, this will give me x equals 4n. Okay, so x equals to 4n. So there's an intersection at x equals to 4n. So we might, we might do something about that. Okay, I don't know which, which is smaller, which is bigger or you know I just need to find the intersection for now so that I can uh, s s split the integrals so how about okay well if what about this 2 here well, if 2 if it was 0 let's say at a certain interval the max at a certain interval I don't, well, I shouldn't say zero. I'm just this is just just generally speaking. Like, let's say if it was zero, then the min is going to be zero. That's piece of cake, right? So I don't need to do a case for that. But how about what if the max was this? Then I need to find another intersection for the min of two or minus x over n. So when when is two equal to four minus x over n? This gives me x over n equal to two. I see that x equals to two n. All right, I know where to go from here. So what this means is I need to split my integral zero to two n. 2n to 4n, and then 4n to infinity. Okay, so that's so that's what that means. So I'm just, I need to write that down. 2n, 4n, infinity, zero. All right. So okay. Okay, so to for the limit 
So let's. I'm just gonna put this at the side here because honestly, I right now we we need to focus on the integral splitting. So from zero to two n. From zero to two n. Okay. When x is between zero to two n. Okay. Well, let's see. If I plug in, well, what's between zero and two n? N, right? N is between. 0 and 2n. So if I plug in n here, I get 4 minus 1. That's 3. Oh, okay. So this function is bigger in this interval. Okay. But then uh, the min, the min of 2, 4 minus x over n, again, plugging in n. Right, I get 4 minus 1, that's 3. I mean, 2 is small, smaller than this. So then, what that means is, or, I mean, plug in 2n, uh, you get 2. The, the min is still 2. So, we get this integral here. Okay, we're done with that. All right, how about 2n to 4n? Okay, well, 2n to 4n. Um, I wish I could erase this. All right, so... What, what about this interval here? So 4n, plug in 4n here, I get 0. Max is 0. Plug in 2 in here, I get 4 minus 2, I get 2. So th plug in 3 in. Plugging in 3 in here, I get 1. So the max is still here. Okay. But then our min, 4 minus x over n. Now our min is, well, what is our min? Well, plug in 3n here again. Plug in 3n, we get 4 minus 3, that's 1. So this is our min. So now we have 4 minus x over n. Right? Again, I'm plugging in 3n because 3n is between this interval of 2n, 4n. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this this is how min and max functions work. Uh, most of the time, it's not very. Most of the time, it's just it's always complicated. <laughs> that's just, that's how almost all piecewise integrals are. All right, now to four n to infinity. Right, if I go any bigger, if I go any bigger. Four n, uh, I get zero. Plug in five n, I get negative. Whatever, and it'll be smaller than zero. So. Max is 0 in this interval. Okay. And then the min is also 0. Because, I mean, 0 is smaller than 2. So this is 0. Okay. So this, this is 0. We don't care about that. All right. So now what? What, what do we do? What, what do we do now? So this is equal to the limit n approach to infinity 0 to n we have 2 over n dx um, what do you do right what what do you what, what now so um, actually so you would you would think oh well I mean from the previous videos we just plug in infinity this is all zero no <laughs> no we, that's that's too sus there's there's no way there's no way the answer is, is just zero like that like that what, what would what would be the point of this integration be problem so I'm not gonna bring in dominating convergence theorem because that's just I'm not very confident in explaining that, so I'm not going to bring that up. So, here, the integral of this, this is an easy integral. I mean, this is just 2 times 
2n minus 0, this is 4n, right? And then here, integrate this, we get what? Uh, this is plus, let's see, 4, then 4, let's see, 4n minus 2n, that's 2n, so that's 8n. And then here we have minus, minus, it's x squared over 2n from 4n to 2n. This is equal to, so this, this is going to give us, um, surprisingly, 12. Um, if I'm only focusing on this, this is like 4n square minus 2n square over 2n. Oh, this is a sum of squares, so sorry, difference of squares. So this is like, what, 2n times 6n. So this is 6n in total. So we have 12 minus, and then again, the n, the n gets uh, divided by this 1 over n. So we get 12 minus 6. So I mean, there's no n here, so the limit which is equal to 6. So the answer to this whole piecewise integral is equal to 6. And we're done. Holy hell. <laughs> Be very careful. Um, this is how min and max functions work. Um, very, very scary. Uh, very weird to work with. But uh, it just takes time to get used to and a lot of experience.